Hi, welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to create a UAV drone. And the type of drone that we're going to uh, work with is going to be the MQ-9 Reaper. Uh, we're going to work with uh, surfaces and, uh, and 3D sketches. And then we're also going to cr um, make the whole design into a solid body. So once we've done that, we're going to work some uh, mechanical parts on this design. And then we, when we get to the end of it, we're going to do some uh, some rendering, um, thinking that we're going to try two rendering softwares here. The One of them is the built-in SOLIDWORKS rendering system, which is the SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2017. And the second one where we're going to try is going to be k shot uh 9.2.56 and then the first thing that we're going to do with this uh design is uh we're going to add a top plane a front plane and a and a right plane and then once we uh, add those ones we're going to add our sketch pictures and then the sketch pictures that we're going to add is going to be from this blueprint. Uh, I will add this blueprint in the description as well as the download files for the actual models. I'm going to include both uh, SLDPRT and the STL file uh, and this picture here if you wish, wish to uh, start uh, designing from scratch by yourself uh, following uh, my step-by-step -step process. So uh, the way I create my uh, sketch pictures, I, I bring up a picture like this. Uh, I zoom in if I need to, with this one here. And I just uh, use a simple built-in uh, snipping tool that is in uh, every Windows 10 computer. I'm not sure if it's on Windows 7 or, or if it's on Mac. So uh, usually I'll, I, I select a snipping tool and then down here I usually select freeform snip and then I just snip around like that and then I bring off freeform and once I done that I just press uh, save as and I just save it to my desktop but uh, I already done all that so I already made my uh, sketch pictures which are here which I will insert into SOLIDWORKS as a reference point. Okay, so uh, let's jump over to SOLIDWORKS. Okay, and let's start by creating a part. That's okay. All right, and then uh, I'm going to bring up all planes, all three planes, and I'm just going to hold down control on the keyboard and click that, click top, click right, and I'm going to let go of control and this little eye icon will pop up and just click that. Okay, so now we can see all our planes. Um, so we're going to insert our sketch picture. So we're going to insert our top plane for the top view first. So I'm just going to click on the sketch on top plane, top plane, and then I'm going to select sketch picture. If uh, you don't know how to bring up these uh, sketch picture command tool, then uh, it's in in my I did mention it in my previous uh, tutorial videos. It's in the comments, and you just drag it up here. Okay, so uh, let's choose this one here for top view, and let's see where it does end up. Right, so I want to design this way. Throw so it's it's actually up this way at the moment but I want I usually like to design from uh, raw left to right you might like to design from bottom to top or right to left I usually uh, design everything from uh, uh, right to left yes right to left you can do it this way but I'm the, you can just put minus 90 degrees all right or uh just 90 degrees okay and once you've done that 
let's just go back because that line picked up something else okay that's good okay so exit the sketch top lane we're still on the top lane double click on that drone and just bring it somewhere drag it somewhere in the middle here you know somewhere in the middle uh also what we can do if to keep things uh nice and square just let's choose a midpoint line snap it somewhere in the middle okay something like that okay and then now you choose your picture your sketch picture and i have a nice line that the, you can go after uh, that is perfect let's go zoom in here to get every get it exactly at the middle point uh, though you don't have to worry about getting exactly in the middle uh, because we we just need uh reference points for the length and the and the shape of it but if you want to get the exact sizes and measurements you can go up to google and then get the measurements that is uh, exactly what is the drone sizes uh, okay so check that I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. I'm gonna not going to zoom out. I'm gonna make this top plane a little bit bigger. Okay, just drag it out like that. I wanna make this up to this side. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna bring this out here. Like that. So basically that's what that's what it is okay and then now we're going to exit the sketch okay and then we're going to sketch on the front plane like that sketch on the front plane and then we're going to insert our sketch picture here okay so select uh, sketch picture and then it brings up this one and then you select that okay and then you're just going to put here uh just select this one it flips it and flips it that way or that way or you can flip it that way that way just flip it back that way upside down yeah okay and then and then you just click it again and just you know get it into the middle get it into the middle as best as you can so there's a there's a line I'm going to use that line as my reference points the middle line of the this drone somewhere there so we can design this part and then we can design the bottom part so I'm going to use that line for reference just a line there that's perfect maybe you come down to this line yeah and just you know align the nose I don't have to be too precise on this one because we just need uh, uh, four references but we will add our own uh, design with deeds design so uh, yeah I'm gonna leave it at that so that's perfect okay and then all we need to do now is add in our uh, right plane uh, sketch picture but that we're going to add in uh, after because first we're going to uh, we're going to work with the body and then possibly the wings and then then we are probably going to insert a sketch picture for the for the right plane so i'm going to leave this uh, part uh, here and i see you back at the second one see you